Oh, man. All right, we're back with internet, <laughs> electricity, most important this time. Yeah, I learned something about my electricity yesterday, <laughs> which is, we, you know, I mean, when we moved here, I mm -hmm. we spent tens of thousands of dollars over, you know, doing the electricity over. But there's a weirdness to this house because my father lived here and he's a freaking idiot. And, <laughs> no, I, literally. And there's some stuff you just can't overcome. Like some of the stuff was just so stupid. This electrician was like, look, I, there's no way to make this right, you know, kind of thing. Yeah. And there used to be a back of the house where there was a GFI or a GFE or whatever you call it. Thing yeah, outside. GFI. And um, he added a thing onto it. And so that whole section of the house is all running off this one little thing. So it goes out into whatever. And the guy was replacing a light down in the basement in a, off, like what used to be an office bathroom mm -hmm. that my father also added to the house that is completely unnecessary and also probably all wired on one giant circuit because again he's a freaking idiot and um the guy's like he's like i've he goes I, he goes short of throwing every breaker in your house i can't figure out like of course the electrician we did hire who mm -hmm. spent all that money on only labeled some of them and poorly and I finally said, look, we're just going to flip every one of these things, you know? We'll just do them one by one. We'll see what the, when the light comes on the, over there, you know? Click, 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 click. We have two boxes <laughs> completely full, which is part of the problem. Mm -hmm. And nothing. Nothing changed it. And then I remembered, because of my father, <laughs> that there's a GFI in the bathroom on the first floor that is literally the nexus of all this stuff. And I said, mm -hmm. I bet if we go in there, that GFI has been flipped yeah because not not we flip we actually turned off the power to the entire house nothing happened and uh well, well i mean to the yep. thing we were looking for and um i went in there it was like pop and then it was like yep it came on and i'm like yep and he's like he goes why, why on earth would this be and i said dude <laughs> it's, it's, that don't just i know i know I, I it's not me i i didn't do this i i it can't really be fixed without i don't know how you would fix i don't know but um yeah, nightmare, you know. And anyway, uh, but now we know, and we're going to um, we're going to keep an eye on this. <laughs> so, you know, if something happens in that bathroom, which now is like my daughter's bathroom downstairs, although she's never here anyway, uh, he's re he replaced a light. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. It was just a freaking. It's just I can't wait to get rid of this place. I just I can't. I cannot wait. Makes me wonder because at some point. Somebody, nobody can see what I'm looking at. Someone's going to take apart what I've done, like in mm -hmm. this basement, and they're either going to say yeah, like, "Yeah, I understand like, why uh, he why he did all this," or right. they're like, "What an idiot!" I mean, like, I, I think, think about, I did it. Oh right. no, I'm sure you did. It. I've seen your work is is very high quality. I'm sure. Actually, to be honest, I bet people wouldn't question the quality of it for sure. Yeah. I don't know the logic of it, but yeah, the you know, yeah, exactly. Remember, <laughs> so there's like, a difference. You, you have you're sitting in like a like a podcast studio of sorts, yeah. right? I mean, I had one of those in my basement at the other house. I mean, what must those people like? People go down there like this is like a, it's like a place where they film ISIS videos, and apparently, <laughs> it's like a, like a fake wall over here for some reason. You well, know? I'm gonna have to explain what this is every time because uh, we're getting our AC annual spring tune-up today. Like they're coming in. Great. So every time someone walks down the stairs and walks in there, they're like, and you're like, okay, so here's what's going on here yeah it's like the furnace is in here and if you need to make a youtube video it's just right back there like it's <laughs> you can do it all in one shot honestly i mean as time moves on that's less and less weird i guess yeah and i think i think so like especially it's... with the pandemic and everything now people are like yeah no you work from home i get it like uh, yeah anyway anyways yeah. uh for people who tune into the tech podcast mm. um <laughs> we got nothing i don't <laughs> let's let's talk about relationships a little bit. Um, <laughs> There's a new Windows 11 Cider build that has some of the File Explorer updates, but not... Honestly, the thing that's funny about that mm -hmm. is it kind of doesn't have any of the ones they talked about, right? Like, yeah, I mean, it's... Um, there was some... I, I brought this up. I think I might have brought this up yesterday, but there's some. there was some naming weirdness in the Microsoft materials where they referred to, like, Task View as Task Switcher, which is not the name of yeah. that thing. And then they started using the language, which I'd never seen before, homepage with regards to... Um, yes, I saw that too. File Explorer. Yeah. Like homepage, right? So there's no actual language in the UI that says anything like this. But the mm. way I've described it is File Explorer has a default view. That default view today is called Quick Access. I don't like Quick Access, <laughs> but you can change it to um, like computer or whatever it's called, mm. my computer, basically. So it just shows the, the main drive and whatever the other stuff is. 
And uh, I just do that because I don't use or care for quick access. Now, that said, I do pin stuff in the quick access section in the nav bar um, because of the way I work or whatever. And mm -hmm. I, I don't I don't want it auto updating some view with recently accessed file. I don't use any of that stuff. So now what this what they're saying is that thing, which I think of as the default view, is a home page, right? But the other thing is they didn't say this in the video, but now they've said it in the insider blog post. In the video they said, in the presentation, they said, we're adding this notion of favorites. And I said, Well, okay, that kind of makes sense in the context of homepage because in Azure Internet Explorer, mm -hmm. they have this notion of a home page and favorites, and so they're using the same language everywhere. Okay, I could kind of see that. But then in the blog post, what they said was, we're changing the naming. So now that view, which was quick access, is called home. There's still a thing called quick access, which is in the home view. And we're renaming pinned items to favorites. Mm -hmm. And I thought to myself, you know, this is just word soup. <laughs> like it doesn't. But, you know, for people like me, I'm writing a book, right? Like I, I actually need to be able to name these things. And now there's a whole new level of. This used to be this, and now it's this. Yeah, and in the so, book, which I promise will appear someday, I called it. I call this. Where did it go? Shooting from <laughs> the hip, which, as we yeah. all know, is a great way. Mm -hmm. They're making all of this like webified, if you will, like homepage yeah. favorites. Mm -hmm. I wonder if that's leading into either like the Microsoft 360 or Windows 365 thing, or we're starting to see like the convergence of web and desktop, and so they're using that terminology. Dude, let me tell you something. I that I keep bringing this up. I apologize. Eventually, I promise I will finish this and never talk about it again. But this programming Windows series thing that I'm writing, I literally wrote what I think will be the conclusion of this like a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. And it's called something to the tune of it. I could almost get the name exactly right. It's like we fought the web and the web won. And the conclusion yep. is, or the, the point of that conclusion is that the history of Windows since the mid to late 890s, sorry, has been about fighting the web, fighting the web, fighting the web. And mm -hmm. at every opportunity, there were there were times like uh, Windows 98, very briefly, they were going to bring, the, the, the HTML was going to be the shell. Mm -hmm. Hyperlinks were going to be like one click. If you Everything you click was a hyperlink instead of two clicks to open a file or whatever. Um, and then people hated it. But they were like, they were there was a brief moment. They were literally just going to say, screw it. HTML, CSS, JavaScript, this is the shell. Yeah. We're going web. And then Jim Alchin and Brad Silverberg fought and... Silverberg lost and Jim Alton won and we, here we are. But there have been attempts. There are so many. You have, dude, I, I don't mean you. I mean, like, I don't think anyone understands how many times Microsoft has tried to bring the power of the web to Windows without it actually being the web. Mm -hmm. I'll just name a few off the top of my head. XAML exists. XAML is the XML-based language that they use to create UIs. Yep. In WPF, it was in Silverlight. It's in uh, UWP and store apps. It's in it's in uh, Xamarin forums. It's going to be in Maui. It's everything. It's it's the because of HTML. They're like we we want HTML, but we don't want that open standard. We want our own proprietary thing, and we're going to do special things to it to make it good for Windows. Like that's a huge example. Windows 8. Remember very briefly, you could use HTML and JavaScript and CSS to create Windows 8 store apps, Metro mm -hmm. apps at the time. Not plug and replace with XAML with C Sharp or C++, completely different. And not these were not web apps. They were just using web technologies to create native apps. They didn't translate in any way to the web. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Silverlight itself is a great example of this. It's like they almost beat the web with Silverlight, and then Steve Jobs screwed that over. I'm going to write about that soon. But, like, they've been doing – they just keep doing this. Like, guys, the web exists. Just it, – it keeps beating you. Yep. How many times are you going to do this? They do it again. This is the the entire history of Windows from Windows ninety five to today is what you just described. Them again and again going, we're going to bring in these ideas. From the web. Don't don't bring in ideas. Bring in Embrace. the web. Yeah, just do it. They can't stop doing it. They can't stop doing what they do. If anyone else is wondering what that background noise was, that was my water heater kicking on, and now it's turned off. Oh well, I have my own little background noises here, but you probably don't hear guys Anyways. doing all kinds of stuff. It's a, a I was I almost said succulent point, but it's a <laughs> I, I it's it's a fair point. They wrong, fought... wrong kind of podcast. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um. Yep. <laughs> that threw me off for a loop. Uh. You're right though. They keep fi they keep fighting the web, and yeah, they can't stop fighting it. And there's always someone very logical who says, "Guys, 
we have all these core, you know, uh, strengths here. We have, you know, at the back of the windows. Like, mm-hmm. why are we talking about something that's not windows, you know? And, like, for a little while, that's, I mean, you know, the, the argument won. I mean, but, uh, guys, you got to just accept the inevitable here. <laughs> like, it's, anyway, we'll see. But I, to me, I think it's already, I, I think this story is, it's already over. I think yeah. this is just, we're just going to tread water and pretend otherwise. You know, Blazor is a great example. Like, okay, web, yeah. we'll do some web stuff, but it's going to be C Sharp. It's going to be .NET. Yep. Okay. <laughs> as long as you output HTML, I guess that's okay. Maybe that's a, yeah. an acceptable, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. They keep fighting it. It's, yep. uh, anyways, if anybody needs um, something to do for the next four days like me, mm. uh, the Masters is on. Kick oh. off today. Greatest right. golf tournament on the planet. I will betray my ignorance here. Is that in Augusta, Georgia? Yes, yes it oh, is. Oh, look at me. <laughs> yes, it is. It's the greatest okay. golf tournament on the planet. I see. Home of the pimento cheese sandwiches. So. Okay. I don't know anything about that, but yeah, I like you Georgia. Should. Actually, I'd yeah. like to... Where's Augusta? Augusta must be on the coast. Uh, it's on the like the border, I believe, of South Carolina and Georgia. Like It's like oh. right there. Like, but, okay, so it's in the middle of the... Yeah, yeah, it's in it's on land. It's not. Yeah, yeah, Pebble it's not on the water. Pebble yeah, Beach okay. now, which is out in California, which is what most people think of when they think of like the best golf course. Yeah, on the planet. with those cliffs, and kind of like a Scotland style situation. Yep. That's almost. that's the Pebble. That is not where they are at. They are at uh, okay Georgia. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So a lot today's of crisply pleated pants. Mm-hmm. That kind of thing. little subtle clapping hats with little balls on them, even though it's not the no one cell phones though. I believe you're not allowed to starting today because you can do it during the practice rounds but you can't take a cell phone in there like it's is this because it was super disruptive and yeah well they try to keep over each other like it's what this is like the classic of classic golf tournaments where they try to keep it like traditional and well it, I, genteel is perhaps a, yeah. a, a terrible word these days for some reason but i mean i'm sure they try you know they want it to be um well what it golf is a calm game mm. <laughs> you know sort of you know i mean when i play it, well, there's a lot I mean, of swearing mostly, right i mean <laughs> Either way, that's on. If people care, you can watch it online, on the web, or your favorite, whatever stream, something like that. Yeah, I probably will not be watching it, but that's that's cool. I don't I don't begrudge them destroying the ecology of every place. We'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> what a waste of real estate. But uh, yeah, no, that's good.